So my, my name is Alistair Irons. I'm from uh, University of Sunderland. Um, I'm one of the group uh, of the names there. Um, two, two colleagues from Bath, uh, Tom Crick from, from Swansea and, and Tom Prickett from, from Northumbria. Um, so the structure of the, the this morning, um, just to, to give you an overview of the, the project, a little bit of background to, to what we're, we're, we're trying to do. Um, and then to share with you the, the design process and how we went through things, the workshops that, that we've done, how we piloted some sessions and how we gathered feedback and, and the like. And, and uh, as you know, it's, um, we're particularly looking at uh, computer science and, and the, the uh, uh, looking to support computer science uh, academics. I'm hoping that there's a framework in here that is uh, applicable and transferable to, to all education developers. Um, and so that, that with, with, with that in mind. Um, you might seem that this might sound a little bit back to the future, but it's going to kind of sound a little bit like a, a plea for an LTSN subject center. It's not meant to be. I'm not trying to rewrite write history, although I was uh, distraught when the LTSN subject centers uh, dissolved, just to put a, a little bit of my bias out there uh, in the in, in the open. So this, this, this came about from a, a number of different uh, 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 angles, uh, really. We, for, a, for a long time, I'm, I mean, almost two ref uh, exercises ago, we've been really pushing at trying to get pedagogic research into the computer science community. Um, and not not been particularly successful you know two or three universities return in each of the recent refs are, are around pedagogy in, in in computer science um although there's a a, a strong uh, movement in, in in computer science around the importance of, of pedagogy research um indeed some of us uh, in the in the past have uh, returned under unit 23 rather than unit unit 11. Um, so th there's an interesting mix there. So we're, we're talking about that, discussing that. Um, uh, at the same time, there's been a big institute of, of uh, coding uh, project that's been running through Bath uh, as, the, as the lead with uh, Rashi Terezi as, the, as the, the, the manager of that programme with, with 35 universities and a number of different uh, uh, agenda and, and themes going, going through that. Um, and at, at the same time, I took over as, as chair of the BCS Academy Board of Computing. So we're drilling down into these concerns you know, from a, a number of different different angles. Um, and we were looking at, so how do we get people together? There's a, there's, a, there's a goodwill thing, there's a good feeling thing, there's a, a desire to make computer science education at uh, universities better whatever the better means. Um, and, and, and let's look at how we, we share good practice, how we, we uh, uh, celebrate, how we work together, how we collaborate, um, how we try and pull all the different components together so that we're, we're, the greater good is, is winning rather than, than, than individual uh, institutions or indeed in, individuals. Um, so we're drilling down into that, looking at the national community of practice. And it's going to... So, as the conversations were on, we, we kind of moved towards support for new computer science academics um, and, and what that might look like and how we might move that forward and, uh, and how we, we, we take things uh, in, into play. It has to be said that the five of us are all old white male uh, I, I academics that have been around the block for, uh, for quite some, some time. And so there's a, we we'll try our hardest to uh, not be biased and not have that, that, that uh, um, old white male bloke view of the, the, the world. Um, and so EDI has been a, a key uh, pillar of what we've been, been doing and, and, and moving forward. And I'll come back to that, that later. But a number of reasons for looking at uh, at, at computer science and and the, 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 you know and in order of importance we're very fortunate and there's a a, a new uh one of the, the first uh, uh moves in in trying to address computer science skills and digital skills was a a, a national compulsory curricula uh, for 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 computer science um particularly in England and Wales, Scotland slightly slightly different. And indeed the position in Scotland is really quite quite a, a, an interesting an interesting one. Um, the uh, if we as we move into to university, computer science has traditionally had a fairly hefty attrition rate somewhere between 40 and 50 percent not on uncommon um so a problem there. Um, the NSS and we can discuss and debate the the, the, the uh, pros and cons of the NSS uh, for as long as the, the, the day is long. Um, but if you look at the pattern over 
over time, um, then, you know, particularly overall satisfaction uh, question has been lower in, in computer science compared to, to other subjects. Uh, and then there's a, 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 a consideration that some of the things that we're trying to teach in, in uh, computer science have their own particular pedagogic challenges. And a whole set of things going on at the same time. And, and um, the, a colleague who's now the, the immediate past president of the BCS uh, raised the concerns, particularly around support for new BAME uh, academics in, in computer science and, and poor career pathway for BAME colleagues. And so that was another driver um, coming in and, and really was one of the, the, the uh, uh, key things to, to pick up uh, as we, we look at some of the the, uh, the, the tools that we've uh, in, engaged with around um, buddying and, and, and mentoring. Um, there's some literature around this space and, and, and some literature in computer science. Um, and so we, we drew on, on that. So the timetable, very, very quickly. Um, we looked at uh, the, the, the founders group that extended to a, 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 a broader steering group where we tried to get female colleagues in, involved, we tried to get BAME colleagues in, in, involved to try and have a, a broader representation across the community with a mix between uh, pre-92s and post-92s. Um, and trying to do that, as some, you know, much better than I, is a, an, an interesting an interesting challenge. So there's a little bit of social engineering trying to, to, to move that, that forward. Then we started to... Uh, let, let's test this. Let's let's see what we can do. And we, we presented at uh, uh, the UK CIER conference in Glasgow virtually last uh, last uh, 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 September, um, and ran a workshop just trying to get a feel for um, the, what was important, particularly for new computer science academics, but also drawing on uh, people who are further into their career and indeed people who are managers and research managers in the, in the, in, in computer science to try and get a, a, a feel feel for, for, for that. We then started to pilot a number of sessions trying to, to broaden uh, the participation and get people to come along. Um, it, was, it was kind of field of dreams, we would build it and they would come uh, to some extent. So that's how we, we, we started off. Um, and then we've, we've, uh, uh, we're have we ongoing with things and, and, and moving forward. Uh, and we did a, a workshop at the ACM Computing Education uh, Conference in, in, in January at, at Durham. So the design process, um, you know, we really tried to, you know, we've all got our ideas, we've all got our, our, our notions of what, what would be appropriate and, and the like, but we thought rather than, rather than not impose it anything, to, you know, it, it really was to try and enable and encourage um, colleagues who are just starting out in their career to tell us what it was that they, they want to do. So we really looked at the, the principle of, of co-design. Um, open invitation across the, the, the community to come and, and participate and work with us without any prejudice, without any bias, um, and you know, without any consequence. You know, they, they, they wasn't going to be held attributable in, 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 in any way, shape or, shape or form. Um, so we, we then had a, an initial proposal to try and start the, the discussion very, very open, using some 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 tools, um, you know, and, and the nice way of doing it on, online, and, and, and we'll come, come back to that in a second when we look at, at the, the opportunity for, for, for travel. Um, we've then followed up with a, a, a questionnaire and, and we've been putting together a, a program uh, of uh, education development events over the, the, uh, the last few months. Um, this, of course, is an iterative process. It goes round and round uh, in, in circles. We call it, it, drawing from computer science is evolutionary prototyping is the, 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 uh, how we would use it if we were developing, developing software. So that, that, that principle is in, 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 play, in play there. We've tried to um, align topics with things that were going to be challenging in, in the uh, uh, academic calendar. So uh, us new academics were going into project marking, into exam marking, into big coursework marking for the first time. Um, we had uh, colleagues come in and talk about assessment and feedback and, and how to manage marking, how to, to uh, get your way through that, that, that process for the first time and, and, and look at things with, uh, uh, through a different, different lens. So the data gathering workshop, we, we, I don't know if you've come across this, but it's a, a fantastic uh, tool uh, called Envision Freehand. And it's kind of like 
uh, post-it notes on, on, on steroids. It's, it's just great. Um, very, very useful. Um, dead easy to use. Um, we, we have a, we, we've run it in, in a way that we, we have a, somebody talking and then there was a facilitator doing all the, the sort of moving ar around the, 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 the technology. Um, but, you know, dead, dead easy to, to get responses to questions. As you can see from the, the, the post-it notes, quite detailed responses. You don't need to read them. It doesn't, it doesn't really really matter. It's just the the, the, the quantity of, of comment there that, that's, that's useful. We then collated all that, pulled it all together um, and, and did a, a, an analysis of, of that, that, that data. Um, so three main questions that we looked at, look at the, the, the opportunities to engage um, with, with the community of practice and what it was like being a, a new member of, in a computer science faculty. Um, looking at the how we can uh, work in parallel with what the, the HEIs are, are doing for new academics and um, what other offers are around for, for new academics so that we're complementing rather than, uh, the, 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 the inhibiting. At one point, we had a grand plan of saying, Yes, we'll we'll do a module that's particular for computer science uh, into the PG cert, and and we'll go around every institution and do a, a program change and get that in there, and uh, <laughs> we'll put that back in a box for you know and uh, for, for for obvious obvious reasons, um, and then you know we'll go back to the original uh, ideal around. Uh, pushing computer science research. Um, but then broke to, into small groups um, and, and really get the, the, the colleagues to, to and, and to be fair, they're quite happy to chat away in the big group, um, but you enter a smaller group with, with two or three folks, it gave them more opportunity um, to, to uh, uh, put their views a, a across. Um, and then we followed up with a, a questionnaire uh, around how to, to take things forward. Um, so, Following on from that that, that workshop, uh, a number of things uh, key, came out, uh, and this is where it might start to be of, of interest and transferable interest to to colleagues in, in, in other disciplines, or indeed to folk running PG certs and, and education development activities in in, in HEIs. Um, so we wanted a, a, a program of, of of CPD and educational development staff development that really drilled into computer science uh, requirements and expectations. So it, 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 to they, they all were doing, um, you know, like different qualifications in their uh, in their home institutions, and and, and quite quite generic. Um, and that's no criticism of those. Of course, they have to be be generic. But the the, the computer science and academics wanted stuff that was really pertinent and particular to to, to their discipline. Um, we also wanted, they also wanted to, to create a community of practice where they could get together and talk to each other, share, share concerns, share issues, share you know, solutions, share uh, materials um, and, and how that might have moved uh, in, into uh, generating a, a place for sharing good practice. And then, because we've always talked, and I go back to the BCS, you know, the, the professional body in computer science, when we identify good practice, we'd say, yeah, that's brilliant. And you, you know, the, the university gets a big tick and it's, it's just fantastic. Um, but we don't, don't put it anywhere. There's no repository for um, the, you know, that, 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 that good, good practice. I'll come back to that in a second. And then colleagues said, you know, it would be really nice to, to have somebody outside the institution um, that can talk to us and, and you know, just have a bit of uh, informal chat uh, around um, career and what to do and, and things to, to get involved in, things to try and avoid getting involved in. Um, well, one of the common things that really came out was that the fact that most of the new academics are not very good at saying no. And so, you know, and, and just saying, it's okay to say no sometimes, you know, it's, it's all right. And then they, they also, you know, come in with the, the mentoring piece around our buddying. So uh, working in twos and threes to support each other across institution. Um, and that was, was quite, quite nice. They also, and I'll come back to it later if we, we have time, they, they wanted to have reverse mentoring. So to tell the old fogies what was really <laughs> required. I was like, yeah, I like that. And it's uh, yeah, tremendous, really, 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 really wonderful. Um, some of the things that come out from from the the, the analysis of the workshop, and we, we don't have time to, to go through these, um, but the, the things around inconsistent support from from different institutions, there, there was pretty much a, a post ninety two, a pre ninety two uh, uh, division uh, there, if, if I'm honest. The, 
and this will come back to the question about saying no. The, the, there's an awful lot of stress on, on on new academics, and you know, this is a long time ago since I was a new academic, and you forget about it. But you know, all the things that you, you, you're juggling and trying to, uh, you know, get your 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 groove, get your get your reputation, do all the things that are expected to be, and then you know, the the gold star on on, on the forehead, all of these things. Um, it's really it's 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 tough. Um, and you know we, we we forget just how how uh, much of a stress and a strain it is on on folks coming in for for uh, uh, to, to new academics. Um, I mean, I I came into academia as a, you know, at the time where particularly in computer science we were looking at industrial. I had seven eight years industri industrial experience, and they were dropping us in, and I was going, I quite fancy going into higher education for a wee rest for a couple of years. I never worked so hard in my blooming life. And it was, you know, it was just such a shock to the system. And then, of course, you get into that kind of cycle and it's, in, you know, 30 odd years later, I'm still here. So it's a long two years. Um, so I digress. Um, but we're looking at islands of excellence, you know, it's different universities looking at things differently. Um, there's, there are a whole set of local initiatives that, you know, around positive impact. Uh, and and you know, the, the the new computer science academy is very aware of that, and looking at how we try and just up the ante and get the kind of public persona around computer science up a wee bit, um, because you know there's a, a a lot of bad press, and you know it doesn't help when every blooming government system that gets implemented is is rubbish, and you know, that's a again another story for another day. Um, so the pilot sessions we did, we did uh, things around teaching and assessing programming, looking at how to supervise uh, computer science projects. We talked about principles of mentoring. We talked about opportunities for career planning. We've done uh, some stuff around accreditation in, in computer science. And as I say, we uh, the, the, the most recent one we did uh, just at this, the start of May was around marking and providing feedback. So, and, and those are, are, are topics that are driven by the, 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 the new computer science uh, colleagues. Um, so some feedback. It's uh, 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 you know, interesting to to uh, see what we're doing online and and and, and offline. Um, the majority of folks that participated were very positive about being online, with one exception, we really really didn't like it at all. Um, but the, the counter to that is that lots of folks said, you know, if this had been a travel to London or a travel to Sunderland or a travel to Bath, eh, we probably wouldn't have had the time to take a day and a half out to go and do a half day's workshop. And would our university support it financially? Mm, maybe, maybe not. So, you know, the, the, so there's some benefits about doing it online. You know, we, we can find a couple of hours or we can find an afternoon uh, to do things. Um, really positive things around the development sessions, really positive about the discussion, really positive about we ran a panel session and uh, all of those things went down really, really, really well. Um, I'm conscious of time to, to give us some some opportunity for, for, for discussion. Um, so there are a number of challenges, no, I mean, and, and, and no denying that there are challenges. So there's a there's a piece around how we work with uh, HEIs and, and the, the education developers, uh, staff development in HEIs around complementing and, and, and working together. And that's a big piece. Um, there's a, a, a need to ensure the ongoing currency of, of the program. There's things around time. You know, if, if I've talked about the, the stresses on, on new academics. If they're doing their PG cert or, or whatever it is in their own institutions, are they going to have time to get involved in, in this? Um, there's a challenge for us about getting. Uh, I really would like all 120 uh, universities that offer computer science to be participating. We're a long way from that at the minute. Um, there's a piece around. Uh, cultural change and around upping the ante of pedagogic research in, in computer science schools and, 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 and faculties. Then we get into the pragmatics um, around who owns the programme, how we're going to keep this going, how we're going to, to, to scale. Um, there's other things around micro-credentialing, which are you know, they, they are, uh, in, in the opportunity to move forward. And then there's a little, we're quite fortunate, we're all computer science academics and we, we, we like playing with tech, um, but there is uh, at some point that needs to be handed over to, to, to somebody. So moving forward, there's things around scaling up, there's things around funding, there's things around how we, uh, the repository for sharing materials, um, how we embed and ensure and assure uh, equality, diversity and inclusivity. 
issues around reverse mentoring, how we, we, we do that. And and just very quickly to share with you, the, the BCS have stepped up and are, are giving us some space. We've created a special interest group, which is their internal governance thing, which allows us a web space for a repository for mentoring, for buddying. Um, and then bizarrely, we're now taking this framework and they're talking about transferable to other disciplines in, in academia, but looking to see if this is something that we can tweak slightly and then be something that's useful for people starting and computing uh, the, the careers outside academia. Um, we're hoping to push the, the pedagogic uh, research in computer science uh, and as I say look at the, the, uh, whether that, that, that program is transferable to, to, to other disciplines and hopefully that might be part of our discussion uh, later. Um, just to share with you, you know, we're, we're keeping going and uh, there's a plan in place for uh, the, the, the upcoming year, a number of CPD workshops, a number of group discussions, invited speakers. If he wants to come and speak to our computer science students, please let me know um, how we deal with mentoring sessions. And we're looking at three mentoring sessions a year is the kind of uh, thing. Um, getting a BCS space live um, and we're going to continue to, to, to seek funding. Um, we did apply for some CEDA money at, uh, uh, just uh, uh, a couple of months ago and the feedback was these guys are going to do this anyway and which is probably true uh, but it would be quite nice to get some money just to, to you know, quite nice to get some money um but that's a different story uh and yeah just for for uh, info a, a set of publications um to date and and and, and planned um you can have the, the we'll make these slides available if you if you're, if you're interested and if you want to read any of those papers and and can't get access to them um or there's some ridiculous charge just let me know and we'll we'll get that sorted um so there we go. I'm sorry, I've probably gone over my, my, my 20 minutes. Uh, my, my bad. Um, so happy for any questions. Um, 